The truth is that there just aren't very many games for algebra out there. There are almost no games for algebra out there. And I think what makes our games unique is that they have actual gameplay involved with doing the math. So what we have are games that involve strategy. What you decide to do in the game affects the outcome of the game. They're fun games to play. The games are intended for adults and young adults. So they were designed to be palatable to that audience and enjoyable and playable by that audience. I see game-based learning as a great way to learn algebra. Algebra already has rules, it already has definite goals we want students to be able to do. We give them feedback either through online homework or through an instructor. The one thing we've been missing that makes uh, algebra a game is the motivation and engagement. And I think these games are what can bring that element into. There are several problems in developmental math that I think these games can help us solve. One of the problems is that students need more practice with comparing and contrasting the types of expressions they see in algebra. Another problem that we see is a balance between boredom and frustration. It's very easy to balance that in a one-on-one -on -one setting, but very difficult to balance that in a group setting. So the games will allow us to essentially have a one-on-one -on -one with students while they learn their algebra. Developmental students typically are not very successful and they have struggle with persistence. The games will help motivate them to keep trying, and I think it's going to create a new way that students will talk to each other about what they're learning in the games. There's a quality of gaming called entrancing absorption, which is that kind of zombie-like state that people enter into when they're playing a great game and nothing else distracts them. You've probably seen this in a relative or child or something as they're playing a fun game. We want to hit that as well. We want to, to get students into a mode where, where nothing else matters, they're playing a game, they're learning their math, all good. It's all delivered seamlessly to them and they're having fun. In a traditional classroom it's usually a one-size-fits-all design. The use of games is really allowing us to target instruction uh, based on the individual's need and diverse learning styles. Um, I see games as a way of uh, really targeting that instruction and then bringing what they experience and hypothesize into the classroom so we can help them formalize their learning. A game has a really unique ability to make you keep trying even if, if you're close but not quite there, you play the level again. And if you still don't make it, you play the level again. And that's just the way games are. They have that kind of addictive quality. And that's what we want to see. You know, I've always thought, if I could just get students who are doing their homework to have that same approach to a homework problem. Ah, it's not right. I'll just try it again and see if I can get it right. Oh, it's not right again. I'll try it again and see if I get it right. We want them to do that. And games do that really, really well.